Today I'm going to show you the basics on how to create a custom report type. I would consider this a beginner administrator task. Uh, obviously report types can get pretty complicated, uh, but for now I'm just going to show you the basics of creating a custom report type and sort of a situational as to why you would want to create a custom report type. Now we're looking at a development instance right now that I'm using, uh, so I'm the only user who uses this instance. Um, and that's important to keep in mind because as an administrator, you want to be aware of what other users or your end users are able to see. Uh, so what I'm doing right now uh, doesn't really apply to anyone other than myself, so we're kind of safe to do whatever. Now. Salesforce comes with out-of-the-box report types, which means that when you purchase Salesforce and install it, it comes with a base set of report types that are used for the objects that it comes with. Now, when you get into creating custom objects to store information about records that are unique to your company, uh, you, you may need to create custom report types. Now, this is a advertisements right here, is a custom object that I've created and it is linked to an account record so if I go to an advertisement record you can see that right here I have a lookup field to the account object now an issue that I'm seeing is that maybe I want to run a report on accounts with advertisements and I'm only interested in seeing accounts with advertisements. Um, and this, and that there's many reasons may, why you want, why you may want to see that type of information. Um, probably from a marketing perspective, it could be pretty important. So I'm going to go to reports, and I'm going to attempt to create a new report to show me accounts with advertisements. So as I look at my accounts reports, I see accounts, contacts and accounts, accounts with contact roles, activities with accounts. So I'm kind of running into an issue here where I'm going to need a custom report type to give me the information that I want to see. To, do, to create a custom report type to show us this information, you'll need to go to Setup. Come to your side panel create report types. Click the new custom report type. Now your primary object is going to be the object you want to start with and dig down from. So our parent object is the account and we're going to want to dig down to the advertisement which would be the child of the account. We'll call the report type label which is what you'll see when you're choosing a report type. We'll call this accounts with advertisements. And if you just tab down, it'll go ahead and fill in the report type name for you. Description. Uh, sometimes if you have kind of a confusing report type, it could be important to give a uh, detailed description here. Uh, for the sake of this, I'm just going to paste in the accounts with advertisements uh, as it is required store and category. Uh, I believe it's best practice, um, at least it's what I always do, is I store I store the uh, report type in a folder based on the primary object. So accounts and contacts is the folder I'm going to store it in, or the category. Uh, there may be situations where you want to store that in a different folder. I could see if you might be interested in uh, you know, storing it in other reports, maybe you don't want to actively see it under your accounts. Um, obviously you would deal with that situation when it came up. We have our deployment status in development. It means that only administrators can see this report or use this report type. Deployed means that it's available to all end users with the ability to create custom reports. So I'll select it as deployed as this is a development instance and I don't really have any users. So you can see it defaults to the primary object of account. We can click to relate another object. Uh, we're going to select advertisements here. 
uh, obviously you could select any uh, child object of the account here. Um, if I were to select something like cases, that's going to defeat the purpose as we're going to see accounts with cases instead of accounts with advertisements. So if you really want to confuse your users, uh, just select something that doesn't match the naming convention of your report type. If you don't want to confuse your users and actually want to do something useful, I would choose the object that you use in your naming convention. So we have accounts with advertisements. Here we can choose each A record must have at least one B record, meaning that if we're calling this accounts with advertisements, we want to choose this first choice because it means that we have to have an advertisement on the account. If we had named this accounts with or without advertisements, we would select the second choice, which would be A records may or may not have B records. And you can kind of see our Venn diagram here showing us what that would look like. It would show us all accounts and it would show us advertisement information on the accounts that had advertisements. But for now, we're going to choose the first choice, which is only going to show us accounts that have advertisements. So I'm going to save this. And I'll show you that now if we come to our Reports tab to create a new report, and we search for accounts, we get accounts with advertisements. If we choose create, we can then go on to create a report and as you can see here we have our account fields to choose from to add to our report and we have our advertisement fields to choose to add to our report. Now keep in mind because of the way this report type has been created we will only see accounts that have advertisements so that's important to keep in mind. I hope you guys find this useful, uh, especially the beginner administrators out there who are just kind of getting a feel for Salesforce. Uh, if I've said anything that's out of place or given any false information, please comment and let me know so I can correct the video. Um, not perfect. So if you want to see any other videos, any ideas of videos that you might want to see, maybe issues you're having at, at work or in your training that you might uh, need some more information on please comment and let me know. Thanks for watching.